Let's upgrade the crafting bench to epic rarity. The good news is that this is the final upgrade for now. The bad news is that this one is very grindy. In order to go from rare to epic, you're gonna need 15 copper bars, 25 obsidian slabs, and one brute scale. For the first part, you need to explore a cave within the desert region to the dry valley. In this cave, you're gonna find a whole bunch of skeletons that all wanna throw dynamite at you, but you'll also find copper ores, obsidian ores, bright core, and blast core. The copper ones look very brown and shiny, and they're usually found deeper inside of the cave. Obsidian is very dark, not that hard to miss, but also can be found deeper inside of the cave. Bright cores look like a bunch of mushrooms just gathered together. Those are very easy to recognize, and you also find these pretty much as soon as you enter the cave. At least this was the case for me. And then the blast cores, you can only obtain those by defeating a certain enemy that is walking around within those caves. They look like a tiny little volcano. They're a bit the same as the regular rollers and the sand rollers. You can either destroy those yourself or wait for them to blow up, and then they're gonna drop a blast core for you. Now, the reason why you need all of this is that first, you need to create a metal smelter and inside of that metal smelter you're going to use bright core and copper to create copper bars the obsidian you can throw inside of the stone crusher and this is going to create obsidian slabs same as with the marble that you use for previous things two important things to keep in mind before you head inside of a lava cave first head over to the snow biome and pick up some snowberries and then grab some milk from a cow in order to create a snowberry shake you can use the juicer at your village for that this is going to give you a heat resistance of 10 minutes i recommend that you take a couple because you can easily get lost inside of those caves and this will prevent you from constantly taking damage in order to farm the materials that i just named you will also need a rare pickaxe i recommend that you bring two of them because even though the durability is quite good you will be farming a lot now for the final part you need to collect a brute scale this one is dropped by a brute keep in mind that you find a brute on the grasslands because the one in the desert and in the snow biome it drops a different scale and that's not one that you can use in my see the brutes always spawn at the same spot so eventually when i find one i can just keep going back there and keep on eliminating them in order to make your search easier use the glider and enable visualize sound effects that will make it very easy to spot them for the fight itself the brute has three attacks it's going to charge at you which you can easily dodge it throws toxic boulders which you can also easily dodge and if you get too close it's going to try to hit you with a melee attack i would just grab a crossbow and then take about 40 to 50 arrows depending on your aim and shoot at him from a distance you should be able to easily complete this fight without taking any damage and then but only then once you've done all of that go to your crafting bench and upgrade it to epic rarity it doesn't give me an upgrade to legendary maybe we'll get this added in the future but for now it seems like this is it